Yeah, it's been a bad day uh, today, but look at this steady improvement throughout the day. So those trade concerns weighed a lot at the open. They weighed much more in Asian trade, of course. Shanghai Composite was down 3.8%. So the close really uh, were not too bad at all. The S&P is down about half a percent, so steady improvement throughout the day. Half screen of all of the individual uh, indices, you can see that the Russell suffering much less because of its more dom domestic focus. The Dow is down a healthy percent just over than that. Here are the sectors as I bring in Bob Pisani uh, to discuss them. And uh, it's as you would expect. Industrials suffering quite significantly, but telcos having a bounce back, consumer staples having a bounce back from yesterday, utilities having a bounce back, all of which quite boring, quite domestic uh, sectors, whereas the industrials clearly suffering at the bottom box. And industrials, materials, and semiconductors, all the sectors the weakest, but we're well off of the lows. In fact, on the S&P, we're closing at the highs for the day, down about 10 points. We were down more than twice that. Russell 2000 just a moment ago has turned positive. So again, we're in this phase where when we get days when the trade talk is really negative and the markets are down, most of the decline is almost invariably in the first hour, and that's exactly what happened today. So a very familiar pattern on bad trading news days, the market tends to bottom fairly early on. I think it's important to note uh, some of the logistics names, uh, notably weak. These companies like Expeditors, Robinson, Matson, mm -hmm. these are all the companies in the transports. They move stuff around, somewhat in the United States, some of them all over the world. Uh, they were among the weakest stocks that we saw today. Uh, I think, again, the key stock to watch, FedEx, FedEx. at 4.15 Eastern time, it's going to report earnings. They're going to have a conference call at 5 o'clock. That's what I'm most interested in hearing. In general, tech today has suffered. We have seen trade days where the Nasdaq's outperformed. It hasn't really outperform much today. Netflix a big part of that, though, having a strong day, offsetting it a bit. That's right. There, and there are certain sectors that really have held up besides uh, some of the FANG names. For example, oil stocks, which you would think would be down because oil is down. <laughs> a lot of the names that are in the U.S. shale sector, your Apaches, your EOG, all were up today. Obviously, a lot of people are anticipating demand is still going to be fairly strong there, and they're not selling those names off as aggressively. Remember, though, MG has not been a huge market contributor recently. We are approaching the close, Bob, down 292 points on the Dow. The low of the day was 419, so we're well off that low. But the Dow is the uh, underperformer down over a percent. S&P and Nasdaq down more like half a percent. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.